right, this is the second part of my review. Sorry about the sorry about adjusting the camera there. I got a camcorder like I said last last uh, last time. And I'm probably gonna do this just this next level because these doing two levels doing just two levels on here takes a lot of time. And apparently I can't get more than ten minutes. It'll be too long for you to um, what's that? Oh, I never noticed that. Um, yeah. Going to Seaside Hill. One of my favorites, especially mu music wise. I was thinking I might do a let's play of that, but I probably won't because that means I'll probably have to start all over again. I mean, not that it was really hard, but I'm just not the kind of person who to start over because you know it would be better to see to see max and sequence instead of having to go up there and click them because I have them in gallery you get them in the gallery after you beat them anyway this is like I'm thinking about doing possibly bayonet as a playthrough and a review that game was enjoyable okay Making sure you guys hear that. This is one of my favorite beats from this from this game. Even though it's not the original, it still sounds pretty good. I mean, if I yeah, I'm not sure if I said that. Did they mix a little bit of Ocean Palace into the mix on this on this music, which actually goes well. really did well was incorporate some of the stuff that was some of the parts of the level that was in like the original game that that's in the level not, not so much but there's parts there's parts of it if you play the game it's, you'll be like I remember this part I think Sonic Heroes is a little bit Underrated. I mean, it was to me it was actually pretty enjoyable. I really talked about the plot on this game. But the plot was basically, without trying to spoil anything, because that's part of the reason why it's, why I didn't want to do a playthrough was because I didn't want to spoil anything. But I'll just say that. In the beginning, you see, um, you see classic, classic Sonic running through Green Hill Zone. After you do that level, um, a, so a shadowy figure comes out, and Sonic's surprised by it, and it wipes out. And then, move to modern Sonic's birthday, his 20th birthday, apparently, and. Oh, I can't, oh, I can't glide while I have to boost. Yeah, it's his birthday. Most of the people are there. You know, with some, 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 some exceptions. I mean, even Blaze is there. And according to this 06 story, I thought she was stuck, stuck with him. Never mind, let's not talk about 06. Um, yeah, they're at, like I said, they're at the birthday so they're at this birth birthday and party and celebrating birthday. And then the shadowy figure comes again. They, um, they he warps. The shadowy figure warps his friends into portals. So I was trying to Sonic tries to stop him but fails. And then, you know, you see all the levels, they're all whited out, you know, because time messed them up. So basically, you gotta, 
you gotta go to the levels back again and restore, restore color and, and basically, I guess, memory to, to what, to what, to just like, what happened. And... They're actually, when you, like, do the characters a certain way, like, if you beat the, beat the, like, the second half of Classic Sonic, the, the people will, like, restore the color and... And they'll they'll actually sort of somewhat interact with classic Sonic, say, oh, you're a little shorter and stuff like that. I mean, it's not really deep, but it's I'd say it's a good storyline. I'd say it's probably the fourth. I mean, behind Sonic Adventure One, Sonic Adventure Two, Sonic Heroes. Um, like I already talked about music. Thing that I also like about uh, the thing, the things that I like about Seaside Hill is that not only is it pleasing to look at, look at. I mean, it was pleasing to look at when it first came out on the on the GameCube, PS2, and whatnot. But like uh, this the level it is now on Sonic Generations looks even better, especially with the enhanced graphics and. Like I said, the music sounds really good. It sounded good in the, in the original. I've added it on the MP3. One thing that's a little bit more in the way in the, in the in the generations than the original is when you're in water. There's there's a little less bubbles. I mean you can still get them, but they're a little they're a little bit more elusive. Thing that is that that is also kind of um, good about this game is that it's sort of for beginners. But it's also for the old Sonic fans at the same time. Oh, my trail. Bubble, 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 bubble. There we go. Um. Let's see what else. Super Sonic is so similar to Super Saiyan. Oh yeah, one thing that I think would have been cool if they put more classic Sonic characters in the, in, into the game. I mean, there's classic Tails and he talks. Classic Sonic doesn't talk. I think I mentioned that earlier. But they, they're not supposed to talk. I'm fine with classic Tails talking. I think I know what they were going for. Um, and there, sh there was a classic Knuckles or classic Amy. I mean, there there was Mecha Sonic, you know, classic Mecha Sonic, the one who didn't get the upgrades. But, um, I think that they could have made that a boss battle, the one with with uh, Knuckles, then again, that wasn't really that climactic, they, they basically just, you basically just tried to hit you in other stuff like, other joke like that, I mean, I think Sonic CD had the only real intense boss fight, I mean, all of them, most of them were 
somewhat intense, but what I mean to say is, Mega Sonic was was it, the fight was more versatile. Like it would, it, it, it was more there, there was more movement. I would say, as in you were constantly running, trying to beat Mega Sonic before before time runs out. Instead of most of the fights where. You would try to just hit each other until your level went low. Well, um, I just leave with this, just saying that this is a very good Sonic game, and for Sonic fans, this is a must. I'd say for a casual gamer, I'd say at least try out and see if you like it. And for a beginner, you know, see if you like the way Sonic plays. And I would give this a 9 out of 10 just because it doesn't have as met. It does the game short, that's the only problem. Other than that, it's good. So, um, yes, yeah, ends my review of Sonic Generations, and I'll see you guys later.